Last week, the Texas Tribune spoke with three Texas school administrators on the topic of critical race theory. During the report, the Dallas ISD superintendent said that critical race theory is a manufactured crisis, not real, and a national playbook made by some very smart, organized people, end quote. Here to talk about this is J.D. Key Communications CEO James Dickey and senior strategist for Progress Texas, Glenn W. Smith. Glenn, is the GOP using fear to motivate voters about their children <laughs> being exposed to critical race theory? Well, I'm afraid that's the case. It's not exactly news. They've been using fear in this way for years and years and years. Let's make it clear about something. First of all, whatever critical race theory is, and it's it's about history, it's not about race, it's about history. But in any case, it's not being taught in the public schools. So the GOP got itself in an expensive tizzy to stop something that wasn't being done. This just reminds me of the old comic book wars of the 1950s where comic books were gonna turn all our brains to mush and we'd never learn a single thing. I mean, it's silly. It's counterproductive and even destructive, and I wish they'd stop it because they're fighting over something that's not happening. Glenn, you know, Texas lawmakers passed this bill preventing the teaching of critical race theory in classrooms without defining what it actually means. So does this create a lot of confusion for educators and parents, administrators? Well, it sounds like an attack on history, which isn't so surprising coming from the GOP because they regularly attack science. Facts are not what the GOP wants out in the world. But I have to correct this. Critical race theory, which is a high academic practice, it's not taught in public schools at any level, is about how institutions can hand along racism through the years. Has nothing to do with the priority of race. Let me say that again. Nothing to do with what James said. I'm just glad James doesn't teach in our public schools.